started playing drums in junior high. I had played the piano and the trumpet and the trombone, and those weren't cool once you hit eighth grade in junior high. So I tried out for the snare drum in the concert band, and I got into that, and pretty much immediately after, uh, started playing in rock bands, um, junior high, all the way through high school and uh, through college, and it just developed into uh, a passion and a hobby. The pipe band was a fluke. Um, I, I know the red hair and uh, the assumption that I'm Irish or Scottish, um, which there is a little there, but um, <clears throat> Probably for about two or three years after I, I got out of college, I stopped playing music and it was a big gap in my life and something I wanted to bring back. And so I started looking up on Craigslist for bands, um, if any bands in Vegas wanted drummers. And there was a posting about learn how to play Scottish snare um, in six weeks and the opportunity to try out for a band after that. And so I took it up and played uh, um, beginning Scottish Snare with Kit Chatham um, and three or four other people and I remember the first day I went to the Scottish Snare class I was probably 30 years old and I walk in and everybody else was like 12 or 13 <laughs> which was entirely awkward. I have a very musical family um, a lot of drummers in my family my on my mom's side my mom's a drummer um, both of my uncles are drummers my aunt's a drummer uh, my dad can play a little piano, um, lots, lots and lots of music, so it was highly encouraged, which made it easy. I had to play piano first, and I hated piano. Um, it was very much forced upon me. I'm, I'm, in retrospect, grateful that I had to play it, but I remember Tuesday piano lessons. My dad would have to pick me up from school at like 2.30 in the afternoon, so I'd get out of school a little bit early. And I'd go to piano lessons and have to sit there and count out loud and have the metronome going and oh god it drive me absolutely up the wall I, I hated it and then have to go home and count aloud while I sat there and practiced the piano so definitely piano and counting aloud um, it, it's by far my number one hobby slash passion so whatever normal people do to fill their time um, you know, fly airplanes, helicopters, whatever, I, I go drumming. Um, so it, it just becomes priority. So when I get off work at five or six, then I may not get home until seven, eight, nine o'clock that night because I'm doing what I love to do. <laughs> like our uh, Thanksgiving rehearsal where I had to go out on stage without a drum harness because I couldn't find it. Could have been the beer then too, but I couldn't actually find the harness. Uh, you just power through it, pretend like nothing's uh, wrong. Um, you, you keep moving because yeah, you may know you made a mistake, but other people may not. Um, in that particular instance, I'm pretty sure everybody knew I didn't have a harness. Is I'm holding the drum like this, and as my arm's getting tired and tired throughout the drum salute, I'm laying on the ground by the end of it, trying to uh, <laughs> uh, keep playing. So that one was probably obvious, but again, I just kept going and went out with the uh, the core, and then you know went off the stage with the core at the same time. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of really cool experiences you get to do. I could probably confidently say that if I hadn't been in the Las Vegas pipe band, probably would have never been able to say I played on the Las Vegas Strip. Um, doing parades through a casino, all the dorky things that we do are really cool um, to me because uh, there would never be an opportunity to do that in any other forum. Uh, the competition stuff is somewhat new to me, but I, I'm liking the travel associated with it and the camaraderie and the bonds and the relationships you grow with people. Um, it's that's probably the best part, and I, I think it's only getting stronger for us as a band as we develop our image and everybody uh, develops more and more pride with who we are. Um, we're all becoming closer and better friends. The C word. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. One comes out when I'm real bad, real mad. Um, never directed towards a woman, just inanimate objects. Gotcha. Okay, that's all I had. <laughs>
already. Yep. <laughs> and if you like that video, you can check us out at our other social media outlets by clicking here on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>